Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Syed Muhammad Alif Hakimi bin Syed Abdul Halim My metric number is 1201958 Okay From Muqaddimah Introduction of Logic is a fundamental textbook in logical studies Michael Generous and Eric Cole of Stanford University produced the introduction of logic Logic is one of the humanity yearly intellectual disciplines it can be traced back to the Aristotle. It has been studied for for age. It can be. It is still uh, being researched now. Everything we do is based on logic. It is something we employ in our professional life to state fact, create concept and formulate theories. We employ the logic language to draw inference from this bit of data. We employ logical reasoning. To pursue people of this finding, we employ logical argument, propositional logic, uh, satisfiability, uh, uh, proportional proof, proportional resolution, relational logic, relational logic proof, uh, resolution, induction, and equity are all discussed in this book. This book will make it easier for the reader to better understand the logic and be an extension to deepen this knowledge. This book discuss the basic that are important for beginner and uh, to know that are the mainstay of the sign of logic. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Amirul Ilham Ibn Isham, metric number 1202905. So, I will tell about the details of the book. First thing first, uh, the title of the book is Introduction to Logic. Author's name um, is Michael Genesis and Eric Cole. Uh, the publisher is Morgan and Claypool Publishers Series. Uh, the place of publication is at Stanford University. Year of publishing is in 2013. And also, this book is the second edition. Uh, with 10 chapters and 151 page number. Next, uh, the first point is what I have gained as indicated in this book is the structure of statements and arguments using a formal logical framework. The author clarifies in this book using logical reasoning to solve problems or arguments. There is a statement structure in each chapter that connects to another statement structure. In this chapter, we only want to state the truth or error if there are other trust propositions. Proposition logic can be identified uh, using some basic methods of synthetic rules that determine the legal expression in propositional logic and the semantics of the expression determined by this rule. Logical synthesis starts with a set of proposition constants. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Wan Muhammad Najmuddin bin Wan Muhammad Mahiuddin. My metric number is 1201957. So, I would like to present my part about the idea that I gained from this book. So, the first one is, this chapter is about propositional logic the author shall use the syntax and semantics associated with chapter 6 of relational logic. Syntax refers to the rules used to create or convert language symbols and terms which contrast the semantics of the language concerned with its meaning. The argument is logically valid if and only if there is no interruption of the subject-specific terms under which the premises are all true and the conclusion is false. So, in talking about logic, Authors state that now the logic has two notions, there is logical entailment and probability. The concepts are quite different, one is based on truth assignment that the other is based on symbolic manipulation of expressions. For example, they say that a proof system is sound if and only if every provable conclusion is logically entailed. And the last one, in chapter 6, I have understood that relation logic is an extension propositional logic that solves relationships among individual propositions problem. The trick is to augment our language 
with two new linguistic features that is variables and quantifiers. With these new features, we can express information about multiple objects without enumerating those objects and we can express the existence of objects that satisfy uh, specific conditions without saying which objects they are. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Adam Zafri Ben Zainal Abidin. My metric number is 1201945. Today, I will continue about 10 ideas from this book, An Introduction to Logic. Knowledge and facility with symbolic logic from from chapter 1 to the last chapter, symbolic logic is the maximum. The author accordingly refer to the function of symbolic logic in the chapter in order to avoid confusion or misconception. Induction is mentioned in chapter 1 which is a rationally from the point of view of the general which is also applied more deeply in chapter 9. Knowledge and facility with the symbolic logic of induction in chapter 9 are more challenging than the previous chapter of the symbolic logic. Next, proportional stability problem, sometimes called the SATS, is the problem of determining whether a set is statements in statement logic are executable. Many other questions in proportional logic, logic such as a logical result can be reduced to proportional satisfaction. The method is simple but prohibitively expensive for everyone except smallest problem. Finally, relational logic fish system can be obtained using the professional fish system. It will expand logic with four additional for handling quantity fields. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdul Basit bin Madai. My metric number is 1201888. Inshallah, today I will continue 10 main ideas that I got from this book. Number 8. Resolution principles are inference rule for relational logic, similar to statement resolution principle, principle for statement logic. As with the proposed resolution, permission work only on clause form expression. Unification is the process of determining whether two expressions can be properly combined to make them the same by changing the variable appropriately. In chapter 9, what I have got the induction is the inference from the specific to the general. Full induction is induction. The example set is a comprehensive. Incomplete induction is induction when it is not a set of instances. True. Linear induction is complete type of induction for single object language. Constant and one and every constant function. The last thought that I can state is an equality relationship is a way to indicate that two terms refer to the same thing in the real world. The idea of cross-referencing imposes some restriction of egalitarian relationship. This includes reflectivity, substitution of symmetry, transition, and equality. These properties can be verified in reasoning by adding a finite number of axioms to each set, each set of premises. Or the same result you can get it on fish using the equal introduce and equal eliminate methods. Hi, my name is Nur Ehsan bin Zamri. My metric number is 1203114. Based on the book, Introduction to Logic, 2nd edition, written by Michael Janusserat and Eric Kau, there are something interesting about this book. This book offers an easy to understand but rigorous introduction to formal logic. This book is usually used at the college and university level who are just beginning to study the concept of logic and philosophy or the early stage of logic. However, it can also be used for advanced high school students and it can be used at the beginning of graduate school for those 
who have not yet seen the material. This is because although there are various types of books that tell about logic, concept, and method for thinking, but this book is also not less impressive and make this book one of the most important references, even more so for beginners. My name is Muhammad Ayman Ashraf bin Muhammad Azizi. My metric number 1201950. Today, I will talk about my comment on book and introduction to logic, second edition by Michael Janessera and Eric Kau. Based of you know generally in the history of early in the history of early discoveries of human science, logic was one of the earliest intellectual discoveries, and although it was first studied in ancient times by Aristotle, until this day it has been studied for centuries and has also become a topic of research that is ongoing and often debated by knowledgeable people and subsequently produced new knowledge as a result of such knowledge in contradiction. The best part of this book that so interesting is when it talks about logic used in everyday life, such as how we use logic in daily activities, how we use logical language to express our observation and feelings about something and how we use logical reasoning to make conclusions just based on the piece of, of information that produce a variety of questions and answers in our brain, such as we can see in the production of cars, telephones, and the latest modern technology that is advancing from time to time. The comparison of water by type and the light. The use of algebraic methods that simplify the way of thinking according to the numbers and so on. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Imran bin Muhammad Rosli. My magic number is 1201919. In addition, we can learn about the main uses of logical concepts in determining a truth in thinking such as propositional logic which involves syntax comparing two expressions and problems as well as the simpler semantics we recognize with algebraic involvement in these logical concepts. This can be proven when these methods produce truth and results in thought as well as brings satisfaction obtained from various branches of science and algebra. We can also look in terms of use of linear Finch systems and structure evidence to further strengthen and answer in a decision. And from this book, we can see that in every logical thinking to find a truth and answer from all questions need to present of the el elimination and replacement of thoughts and also additional ideas with the use of simple unit and numbers that easy to represent a problem in all questions. My name is Muhammad Iman bin Abdul Aziz with metric number 1201920 and I will conclude the comment about this book. The conclusion is this book is so far so good that can be used as a reference to solve any logic question with more ways and variation. According to the top 10 from this book, the approach to teaching logic you see emerged from more than 20 years of teaching logic to students and one of them is from Stanford University. Instead of teaching logic to thousands of others through lecture-based class, this learning is also being brought to online classes on the World Wide Web. This learning differs from that taken by others' book in logic in two essential ways. First, relating to the content and the other one by form. Like many others' book that tell about logic, the specialty of this book is it has include the syntax of logic and semantics and the theory of evidence as well as induction. Besides, unlike the previous publication and the other book, this book starts with hairbrand semantics rather than the more usual with Tuskian semantics in turn make these material types of learning easier to understand by students, even more so beginners, and give them a deeper understanding of what logic is. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Afik Azman bin Moksin 
and my matrix number is 1201878. Alright, so in conclusion, this book provides a lot of useful information for us to read. One of them is to educate on how to think using other ways, such as algebraic methods. This book also can help us become a logical thinker who understand things quickly. And as a, as a logical student who learn mantic, learning about logical knowledge, so we must use this knowledge in our daily lives and follow uh, the guidance laid out in the Quran and Asuna. So that's all from our group. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum.